Hi Leo, welcome to your full moon in Pisces reading for August 31st, 2023. This is our second full moon of the month, which people call a super moon or a blue moon or a super blue moon. Um, I'm doing things a little bit differently, not much. Uh, this is a card that sort of kind of maybe narrows down uh, a general reading. So this is the card of consciousness, right? Um, so there's a deserving consciousness to this reading, right? Maybe you deserve something. Maybe you think you deserve something. Um, maybe you think someone else is deserving of something, but <laughs> there's a deserving energy. Um, interesting, too, that there's a lot of yellow in this card because yellow is, um, for me, very solar, and that is Leo. It doesn't get any more solar than that. Um, the Sun King, right? So that's sort of the overall theme for the two weeks, but your personal theme is, and you can't make this stuff up, the Sun. <laughs> so, very nice, Leo. You have a yes answer with the Sun. It's not my yes, but I'll give it to you anyway. Um, the card reads, success, victory, individuality, ego, freedom, happiness. The Sun, for me, is a very... Um, magnanimous energy the sun only gives right that's the sun king um it is definitely ego uh, it can bring healing energies whether that be physical mental emotional we feel social we feel um, like participating in life and and um, we might be the center of attention, thus the deserving. Maybe you've done something that really deserves the attention of people or maybe deserves a reward or an award, something like that. Um, it's a really nice energy. This is really, really nice. It's happiness. It's good health. It's vibrant. It's a rebirth of some sort. It's effervescent. It's uh, really great. Who doesn't want to bask in the sun, right? Well, maybe a few people, but where would we be without the sun? So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> let's see what you've done to deserve this. All right, what's closing out for you? We're starting with the Page of Swords. This is my Taurus card. Uh, we are clearing up things, clearing up our mind, clearing up the clouds in our mind. Uh, definitely the sun brings illumination, so um, perhaps you are deservant of illumination that you've done the work and you can find the answers that you've been seeking with the Page of Swords. <clears throat> Working very hard and very diligently because it is my Taurus card and Taurus is very diligent in what they do, right? Um, the Knight of Swords. There's two air cards. So this can be in the realm of thought and action. The Knight of Swords is very active. He moves quickly. So there can be something coming into the situation, but it feels like it's leaving, to be honest with you. And that can be the clouds, the things that we don't quite understand or the questions that we had in our mind. But the Knight of Swords is um, my knight in shining armor that comes in to save the day. He can come in very quickly, but he can also leave just as quick. And this can be thoughts, scenarios, people, um, you know, activity, actions, uh, it is moving quickly. And interesting, though, because I think a Taurus card is somebody who is a little more, um, a little slower, a little more, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? More calculating. They, they take their time. A ox or, you know, a, a bull doesn't, move that quickly or if it does it's it's a heavy movement whereas this one is kind of you know he's even got feathers it's like flying so there's a an interesting dynamic with the two but there's still action right it maybe it's the moment that you figure out and you see the light you take quick action that can also be here All right once you get that solid ground <laughs> beneath you that that solid foundation you know what you you know the the deal you know what you're talking about you know what the answer and then from there you take off that's very possible five of pentacles hmm. 
Okay, this is instability where health and finances are concerned, or we could feel like we're left out, right? Everybody on the inside has warmth and family and the hearth and et cetera, et cetera, but I'm stuck out here. These are challenges that we face together, Five of Pentacles. So you're not out there alone. Five always pushes us to find um, balance. That's its purpose. feels like we're moving on here with the chariot card. We can be, indeed, maybe we have really kind of come to conclusions where, you know, finances are concerned or this sort of lack mentality. And the chariot card is triumph and success. It's, um, it's sort of a big victory lap on an internal level. It's alignment, and so we feel a lot more... Um, self-assured, we feel more self-confident. And it can be that because we have this self-confidence, because we've figured things out here, right, we've been illuminated, um, that we can help other people who are feeling that kind of distortion or um, instability. And maybe this is where deserving comes in because you figured out something here to this this imbalance this feeling of kind of like looking outside in and um and you're thinking yo i deserve i deserve balance i deserve you know to have a home that's warm inside with the hearth and a family and i'm deserving of that that's very possible with the chariot card here this is travel it can be actual travel um, because he's in a chariot, right? But there is a sort of an, al an alignment going on. The heart, the emotions, uh, the spirit is all aligned, and so you know where you're going now. You know where you're headed. you figured it out. You've sussed out the situation. And maybe now you know how to fix this instability. And also, don't forget, this is a very healing card. So if you have been under the weather, chances are you're feeling great. or And within the two weeks, you'll feel fantastic, right? The moon is the outcome here. These are things that are a little less, um, I mean, we're talking about the sun and the moon, right? Two opposites. So we have that very solar, male, uh, egoic, outward expressive expression of energy, and the moon, which is quiet, internal, receptive energy. Um, These are things that we can't quite put our finger on. I have a feeling about something, but I don't know what it is, or I can't quite put my finger on it kind of thing. These are fears that come up from your subconscious, right, that we uh, get a handle on. Or, you know, when they come up, it's a fear. If we look at them, we are triumphant over it, right? We've conquered it. It's no longer a fear anymore because we've looked into the, to its eyes, right? Um, we faced our fear. And that can bring triumph and security for us. And even if that is, you know, um, financial instability, physical instability, been there, done that, moving on kind of energy, right? Moving on. Yeah, <laughs> nice. You have triumph and security. This is, um, well, not triumph and security, it's triumph in group situations. And again, this is what we're dealing with here. Groups of people who are feeling a little bit out of balance or feeling left out of situations. And it's kind of like you're bringing some knowledge in to, to the situation. And this is a bit of a victory lap. It's not 100% at 10, right? We're at 6 we're at level six, we need to go to level 10. So you can take like a little victory lap and uh, know that there's more to go, 
but uh, it is a, a victory, a small victory. And people can sing your praises. And again, this is very much the sun, right, where um, you're deserving of this praise. You've done something really wonderful to deserve that praise, to deserve the limelight, to deserve to be the center of attention or to get the kudos or the, you know, the trophy or whatever. You've worked hard for it. And, um, and you get it. There's a triumph over fears. Nice. This is really nice. Well done, Leo. All right, let's get some specifics. Yeah, Ace of Wands. New passion, right? It's a new passion, a new beginning. And this is the things that if we decide to go and uh, accept this new passion, uh, this new fire in our belly, then it can be the stuff that dreams are made of. It's really nice. <laughs> and we move quite quickly towards it, to be honest with you. Really nice. <clears throat> okay, seven of pentacles. Hmm. Two sevens. And that's a unique number, right? It's not cookie cutter. Um, it is the planet of Uranus. So surprises, that kind of thing. But this is the card of, um, where do I go from here, right? You're going somewhere where the chariot is concerned, but this is kind of waiting for your fruits to ripen. And so in the interim, um, how do you wait? Do you wait with um, anxiety? Will they ever ripen? Are they ever going to? Or will we wait with uh, anticipation? It's also um, editing. So the idea of editing your situation and changing things around. If I were to plant another field again, would it be the same crop? Would I want to throw in something different? Would I want to change something around? Would I want to move uh, things around? Add, subtract, that kind of energy. Where do I go from here? Seven of Pentacles. The thing is, you do have direction where the chariot card is concerned. You definitely have direction. And it's this new beginning. But again, with a new beginning, you're like, well, how do I want to approach this now, right? There's something new coming into my situation. May not have worked out in the past, right? I may have had difficulties with um, participants. How will it work out this time? Have to wait and see, right? But the sun... And the supporting cards are saying, yeah, you really deserve what, what, what's coming. But you do have to be patient. <laughs> and maybe that's where the moon comes in, because we can't quite see that outcome. We can't quite see what's going to happen. Uh, we could have a feeling about it with the moon, right? We definitely have a feeling but it's not solidified yet. It's not, it's not the sun yet. It's still sort of in the dark. Have faith. Be patient. Temper your, your um, anxiety and your mood. There's refinement going on here with the temperance card. We're refining a situation. It's in a state of flux. It is not yet solidified. But the supporting cards are pretty amazing. And if we're going from Ace to the Six of Wands, um, and I think a short period of time here, I think you'll be quite pleased on how things work. This is about spiritualizing what it is that you do, right? Making it sacred. It's not just a daily activity. It's something that means something. Hmm. Nice. And that can be solar too, right? It's the giving card. But you give magnanimously. You give like the sun. You just shine. Nice, Leo. What does spirit want you to know? Five of wands. Um, this can be internal conflict or conflict within a group situation. Uh, it can be agitation. But it's very progressive. Um, it, it pushes us to six, right? It pushes us to find that um, balance within the group situation. 
The idea with the Five of Wands is, yes, there's ag agitation, yes, there's conflict, but everybody is trying to, um, uh, they're working for the same goal, right? They all have the same goal in mind. They just have a different way of wanting to get there. And so you as the leader, right, the Leo, the leader, have to kind of figure out a way to make things go smoother so that everybody is um, working together. So it's a cooperative effort. And that will happen with that Six of Wands. That's really nice, I think. Let me read to you what the card says. Um, upright, it's conflict. On the, um, oddly enough, reversed, it's compromise. Competition, rivalry, argument, and cooperation is what the card says. So it's pretty much my meaning as well. Um, but again, five, two fives push us to find balance. It makes us so uncomfortable, right? It's that agitation, it's that conflict that really pushes us to find some um, balance. Uh, and you're deserving of it. <laughs> Whatever it is, you're deserving of it. Well done, Leo. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been helpful. Um, I will return in two weeks with a new moon reading. And uh, I wish you the very best. Thanks for listening. It's appreciated.